Oh damn, I was hoping to put the speedo on today, take the cover off the water rocket and head out to the lake, but we got snow. So you know I got a pile of fishing rods while they're right here. Stacked up in the corner. That's not good for any fishing rod, let alone my fishing rod. So I had these extra skids laying around here because if you saw my other video, I'm pretty sure it's out now, I built a compost bin out of old skids. Well today I need to build a fishing rod rack. Fishing rod rack. It's going over here in the corner, which means that toolbox the stand that it's on is going to come over here. Anybody else getting dizzy? Because I'm getting a little dizzy. It's going to come over here. Trying to get the shop cleaned up. Trying to get the shop usable. I've said that like a million times. But that's the goal here. To get it usable. As you see, i got some pretty cool stuff going on up here. That all belonged to my father. It's coming. Anyway, i got to break down some more of these skids. And we're going to make the fishing rod rack for free. Because truth be told, it's kind of a pain in the behind. So here's what I'm doing. These two pieces right here, these are going to be the uprights for the for each side of the rack. And the pieces that I cut off the boards, these ones here, I'm going to cut down so that they'll go the so they'll go across and kind of make it stable. Now, I got to pull a bunch of nails. Want to watch me pull nails? I didn't think so. I'll see you in a minute. Here's what we got, okay? And this is how this is kind of going to be set up here. Let me just I got that tackle box in the way here. I want to spill my coffee. That's the main thing here. Come on now. You gotta cooperate just a little bit. Thank you. Alright, here's what we got. These uprights are cut at three feet. So we've got two uprights. I'm gonna salvage these boards out of there. Obviously, this is gonna be wider than this. This is just kind of what I'm working with here on my bench until I move this out of the way. And so I'm gonna clean these boards here up. And then obviously they'll be set up like so. And up there, a couple holes cut in here. So that the rod will sit down in there, maybe a bit at an angle, so that they just lean backwards. Got that idea off of the YouTubes, but that's what we're gonna do. So I gotta run to Chatham right now. We got kind of something going on in Chatham for my pot, and then uh, I'll get back home here and we'll try and knock this out today. Hopefully we get her done. Get her done. See you in a minute. All right, guys, we are back from Chatham. Had we did a little running around today's pop's birthday, so we had to. Uh, have a little celebration back to the rod holder i cut another couple of pieces off of the skids we got there i've got this well here i'll show you all right so i got the supports screwed together over here over here so this piece here is going to be the bottom so the rods are going to sit on here it's got an angle tipping down and i'll have a little lip going across there so the rods will just lean up against the wall with the holder up here all right guys here's a quick look at where we're at all right now remember we're trying to do this with zero dollars so this thing here would be flat up against the wall okay this lip down here is where the butt of the rod goes we're gonna have a bracket going across here at that halfway up the rod will sit inside that bracket once I get that piece going across the top there I'm gonna sand the whole thing down paint it screw it to the wall and I got a place to put the rods get them off the floor Hopefully don't break any, which is the whole point, and I can get organized. That seems to be the word the last few videos, organized. Something I usually am not. Alright guys, let's get caught up here. Uh, never mind the coffee, you don't do anything without coffee. Alright, so that's the bottom. The rods come up this way here. This piece here has got to have some slots cut in it every four inches. So I'm going to use this pencil on each one. Trace it out and then cut, use the jigsaw to cut it out. All right, well, as my luck would go, the pencil wasn't going to be wide enough, so I ended up using a chisel. So there you see we have the center line for each one. They're all the same distance in. I think it's going to work. If not, you ain't going to see it from the street. Let's put it that way.
I said about being able to see it from the street, well, a couple of them got a little, little out of shape. But nevertheless, you're going to see what I'm trying to do here. And again, if you see it from the street and you got something to say, it's your problem, not mine. All right, so once again, this is the bottom. This is where the, where the rods are going to sit. Up here is where the tips of the rods are going to go through, right through there. Oh, look at that guy right there. Look at that. We're going to call that character. Now I'm going to get that screwed into place. Now stand it up, and we'll have a look. You all ready for this? Now, this piece right up here, that'll get screwed to the wall over there once I get that cleaned out. I gotta sand this whole thing down, paint it. I think this could have been lower, and this here could have been a little taller. But I never made one before, and I had the skids laying around, so it was free and a little bit of time, a couple of screws, and now they won't be stacked up in the corner once I get this thing painted and stood up. Now I know I could have went to Canadian Tire and spent $20 or $30 or whatever they are on a professional rod holder. But I mean, where's the fun in that? I just screw the thing together and put it against the wall? No, I had to get a little creative. Yeah, I'm thinking Amazon. I know you all want one of these, I know you do. I know. I know you don't. <laughs> I think I might just give old Amazon a call and say, hey, got your rod holder. Ooh. Sometimes things are just too easy.